will pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you because of the way you have been with us throughout the night. You brought us to the beginning of a new day. We worship you, we honor you. We want to thank you for preserving our lives. Thank you, Father, because of the way you've continued being gracious to us in the past week. You've answered our prayers. You've even blessed us. You've done to us more than we even asked or imagined. Thank you, Father. And now, Father, as we sit at your feet, we pray that you will minister to each and every one of us in our hearts, that, Father, you will give us a word to carry in this week. We pray this through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm feeling blessed this morning. For those who have forgotten my name, I'm called Isaac Karuga. And besides that, I love Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. He has continued being good to me. He has continued taking me from one strength to another. And indeed, I can say... Maybe without him I would have perished. But he has taken care of me. And even this morning, I'm happy to be in your midst. May I take this opportunity to thank the vicar for allowing me to come and stand in front of us. Today, our topic is networking. Networking, eh? For most of us, we know this term coming from computers, eh? Or computer science, or the way computers work. But networking is a term that is also used a lot in business, eh? And even in our own circles of life, in the way we conduct ourselves. I can give you an example of maybe myself. Uh, where I used to work before I went into self-employment. I used to work as a communication expert. So every once in a while, when we have reports to write, I would do illustrations. You know illustrations, right? Kama cartoons. I would draw them for the reports. So one of my bosses, at some point, he he moved from that organization to another one. So after some time, we were not communicating that much, but one day he called me. So he asked me, uh, do you still do illustrations? I told him yes. So he told me he's publishing a book that needs illustrations. So from that time, we have now published four different books for four different organizations where not only do I write but I also put illustrations. So the way we were communicating with him or the way that we had that kind of friendship, the networking that we were doing enabled me to become a published cartoonist. And not only local but international because that person works for an international organization. That is networking. Networking is whereby you talk to someone about someone else. It is where you tell someone about someone else's skills. You know, we, we are in a period in history where things are a bit tight for us, especially for us as Christians. Because our circle of friends is not very big, we may not be known that much. So no wonder God gave um, Tungaji the wisdom that we talk about networking. So apart from that scripture about Philip that we read, I would also like us to turn to another gospel, the same gospel of John, chapter 12, verse 20 to 26. John chapter 12, verse 20 to 26. May I read? It says, Some Greeks 
were among those who had gone to Jerusalem to worship during the festival. They went to Philip. He was from Bethsaida in Galilee and said, Sir, we want to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, and the two men went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has now come for the Son of Man to receive great glory. I'm telling you the truth, a grain of wheat remains no more than a single grain unless it drops into the ground and dies. If it does die, then it produces many grains. Whoever loves his own life will lose it. Whoever hates his own life in this world will keep it for the eternal. Whoever wants to serve me must follow me so that my servant will be with me where I am. And my father will honor anyone who serves me. I'd like to draw attention to this person, Philip. To me, it appears that Philip was someone who was very good in networking. You remember, Philip is the same person who, when Jesus called him, he went and called his brother, Nathaniel. So when he, was, he had this habit of when he finds a good thing, he tells someone else. That is networking. You know, it's very interesting that whenever we read this Bible, eh, it talks about many things, some of them directly, others implied. In our situation now here, we have many people who are looking for, for jobs. And jobs are there. Some other people are finding them. We have many people who are looking for professional help. There are people who are looking for doctors to help them in their ailments. And the doctors are there. And some of us know them. Someone just needs a bit of reference to get to those places. Some other people here are very good in offering professional services. But they've got no, no one who's consulting them. How do we solve this? We solve this through networking. Networking is where we connect someone to someone else. And it is biblical. There is nothing wrong with a Christian doing networking. So for there to be some good networking, there are some operating principles. And one of them is found in no other place than in Genesis 26, 27. We are all created by God in His image. So that each and every one of us has something to offer. Everyone has something to offer. You know where I work, there, there are these street children, eh? There's one who is a friend of mine. So every once in a while he comes to my shop, and then I, I give him something to eat. And it would seem like it's only me who can offer him something. But one day, he came to my shop early in the morning. I can come on, if you're offering M-Pesa services today, which I don't, by the way, but my neighbors do, eh? I can remember, I'm talking to you, 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 I'm on that day, he saved someone's life, right? Just the same way, kwa mta huku kuna mtu unajua huyu, mkimuambia, hii siwe jime block, ile kaziwe mwenye inakushinda, hii ni can do it. And you know them. So not only is he helpful to you, he'll be also helpful to someone else. Mtu mwingina kikuambia huku kwetu, 
every week to Nafungua, see it. And do you know this person who does this work? You connect them. For you to be able to do that, you need to see the image of God in that person. Because we are all made in a unique way, in God's image. So the opposite of this is that, you if you don't see the image of God in that person, it means you will not value them. You will not take anything that they do as if it's serious. You will not be able to network with them. So that begs the question, how do you treat these other people that you meet? These people that God brings your way, how do you treat them? It is good for us to know that the way you treat that other person, to me, is the way you treat God. Since that other person is created in the image of God, God has spirit. Everyone has something to offer. The other operating principle that I'd like us to know is this great commandment that we are given. That you should love God and you should love others as yourself. You know if you love these other people the way you love yourself, one of the things that will happen is that you will want to listen to them. You will want to hear their story. Because it is only when you listen to other people when they talk, that's when you'll get to know this one has a shop in town, this one has a farm that is producing uh, macadamia, this one has a child in uh, Canada. And those, all these things are offering opportunities to us to network and to know many other things. But unfortunately for us, me included, we like telling our own stories, but we don't like listening to other people's stories. So we meet, miss out on people whom we would know who would be very helpful to us to network with and to help us get by, especially during these difficult times that we are in. May God help us so that we can be able to network. Get to know this other person. What do they do? And when these opportunities come, point it out to them. That is the way God wants us to stay. You see, Philip was a great networker. He knew many things. When he knew Christ, he introduced someone else. He told him, come and see the Savior. This same Philip is the same person when Jesus fed the multitudes, he's the one who went around and told Jesus that all we have here is a couple of fish and some bread. How was he able to know that? Eh? It's networking. This same Philip is the one who brought Gentiles to come and see Jesus and to hear him declare that he is the Savior. We too, as St. Alba, we have this great opportunity to network wherever you stay and the people you meet to tell them about this Christ who changes lives, who changes someone like me. When we network around there, it's our opportunity to tell people who do not go to church that there's a church right there which welcomes anyone who comes. We have this great chance of connecting people to our chamas. When you find people struggling there, connect them. This is God, what God wants of us, especially around this time. May God help us as we improve our networking. Let us pray. We thank you, Jesus Christ, because of this great apostle, Philip, May we, Father, learn something from him about networking so that we can drive our lives in a way that will honor you as we do our networks. Thank you, Father. We worship you and we pray all this through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen.